Hey everyone, it's Deb here from Deb's Greenhouse and today with me is Anna. Hi. And uh, today we're going to be planting our rainbow hummingbird um, hanging baskets. And these are probably one of our most popular uh, baskets that we sell and we got a lot of custom orders. So we're working on the custom orders right now and then we're gonna switch to um, planting up the retail ones. So this is a custom basket someone brought back and um, we've got uh, pre-filled with um, potting soil and it's we we sprayed it down with water I'm just gonna put some fertilizer on it and um, then we have a dibble board for this one so this plant this mix has 11 different or 11 plants in it some are duplicated and so I'm just gonna give it a press and that just gives me a pattern of where the plants go it's not like a perfect depth hole for them um, but yeah, there's an impression there of 11 different spots. So we're gonna start, this one has a Dracaena spike, so um, we're gonna start with adding a Dracaena to it. Do you wanna put that in, Anna? Go ahead, right mm -hmm. in the middle. And then it has um, two orange calabacoas, two hot pink calabacoa, two of a really beautiful blue lobelia that can grow in the sun, and uh, two of the um, lime green potato vine, and two of two of the um, lophospermum. So that's a trailing vine that flowers pink. Yeah, beautiful. Show it up real close. They're really vibrant colors and that's why it's called a rainbow mix because it has so many colors. So those would just go um, opposite of each other. Go right there. Sure. In here. No, we'll oh, put the here. colors opposite. And keep them level. Yeah, yeah, nice and level. So caliber koa like to be planted level. Perfect. I'll right get there. the lobelias. So the lobelia are really small right now, but we're going to put two of these in here as well. And it just fills it up so nicely, so much color. You got two of the lofus, you can decide where those go. Got it? Yeah. And then this mix also gets two of the beautiful lime green potato vines. So because it has potato vine in it, I would suggest part sun. Um, if it's in full sun, this potato vine leaf can get a bit scorched, a bit bleached from the sun, and sometimes a little crispy or burnt on the edges. It can go in full sun, but it just will be a little bit sun bleached. Mm -hmm. um, so part sun would be like totally perfect for this. That could be the east side or even later in the afternoon. Um, like if it had sun from four o'clock on, it would be fine as well. So where's the impression for these guys? Right here, I'll put one and then right here. So this has, yeah, 11 plants and uh, I, I love this mix. It's so pretty. So nice. Yeah, so it's thanks cute. for watching. If you have any questions, you can always send us a message. Bye guys.